polls will be open from tomorrow, that's Wednesday, until Friday for Aozu's referenda on Subfusk. Oxford students will vote on whether or not they think Subfusk should continue to be compulsory for exams. Now, Subfusk actually refers to the clothes you wear under the gown, so the, the white shirt, the black skirt, the black suit, whatever, including the bow tie. Um, so for that reason, there'll be two questions in the referendum. Firstly, should Subfusk be compulsory in exams? And secondly, should gowns be compulsory in exams? Now, today's the first day of English finals, and we thought, what do people really want to talk about just after they've come out of an exam? Do you have any opinions on Subfusk? You know, there's a vote coming up. Um, not really. It's no fine. opinions either way. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, I love Subfusk. You love Subfusk? I absolutely love Why Fusk. Is that? Um, I've never had any problems with it. Um, should it be compulsory? I think it should be optional. I am, as of yesterday morning, against it because I couldn't find my white bow tie, so... Um, That's terrible. They let you in anyway, though. Uh, no, I, I found out. That's a one. Uh, so what do you guys think about Subfusk? I think it's a good idea. Yeah, why is that? It's a good idea. I don't know. No, no reasoning behind that at all. No. It st stresses me out. Well, it stresses you out? Yeah, it kind of makes me just not want to turn up. It makes you not want to turn up at all? No. Yeah, just not at all. That's tragic. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it here first. Some people don't even want to go to their exams because of Subfur. So I think it really motivates some people. I'm meeting my naked boss. Um, I think it really motivates some people, and I think that other people would be much better off without it. So, yeah. No, I, I don't think it should be compulsory because it's added stress in the mornings when you can't find the this necessary pieces of equipment. Hi, any opinions on Subfusk? Um, Should it be compulsory? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I confiscated my Snickers. She had a little standoff, like she could see that I was going to take a bite, I could see that she didn't want me to take a bite, I took a bike, it all kicked off. That's terrible. Do you have any opinions on Subfusk? Um, oh, I love it, but I'm wearing the gen well, I love it now, it's gender neutral. Right. Um, it's a pain in the neck, in my opinion. You don't think it should be compulsory? No, it winds me up that I have to wear a really annoying suit and buy a shirt. I forgot I bought a, bought a shirt until Sunday. I was like, this is a joke. I'm here with Charlie from the campaign to save Subfusk. Um, so, why do you think Subfusk should remain compulsory? I believe it should be kept compulsory uh, because it's one of those unique and very special things about Oxford. Uh, not only is it uh, a unique tradition, but also I think it's a very positive thing. It's studies and very many cases, like anecdotal experience has uh, proven that when one wears um, special clothing for an examination, uh, it puts one in a, a mindset um, which better enables uh, a person to do uh, better and focus better in that examination. I mean, you know, that's that's not me speaking. This uh, uh, it's been proven in studies. What um, about people who say it makes them feel uncomfortable? Uh, now, w one of the things we are uh, we are focusing on uh, at Save Subfusk is to make sure that. For people for whom Subfast represents a serious problem, a, a, um, you know, a, a serious problem for their welfare, that they can find exceptions. This isn't making it non-compulsory. Um, of course, they would need good reason to do so. And I'm sure for certain people there are good reasons that they can't wear Subfast. You know, of course, some people just find it un uh, a little uncomfortable. But at the same time, but those people will still have to wear it. <laughs> Well, yeah, yes, but uh, you know, at the same time, I, I think Subfast is greater than just what you find. You were uncomfortable um, for a very short moment in your degree. Uh, for a lot of people, um, it's, uh, you, it's it's something bigger than that. Um, it doesn't scare me. Lots of the like, opinion lately is that it sort of scares scares you, puts off state school kids. Now nah, we look like bosses, man. We look like absolute kingpins. So no problems at all. What about studies that say people do better in academic dress? Well, people can be free, like free to wear it if they want, but I think if it's gonna like you know, I mean, st studies may say one thing, but you know, people say they don't work as well in Subfast, then you know, it shouldn't should stay. I think. I'm here with Zav from the Subfast Off campaign. Uh, so, why do you think Subfast shouldn't be compulsory? Um, I think. I think there's a lot of people who really like Subfast, and I think that the really natural thing, if you like Subfast, is it Subfast is to vote yes. To Subfusk being compulsory, but what we're saying is that even if you like Subfusk, consider the people who don't like Subfusk and who don't like wearing it during their finals. For you to vote yes, then is to make them wear something that they don't want to wear in one of the most important parts of their degree. We just just heard someone from the Save Subfusk campaign say that um, say that this was just a very small part of your degree where you had to had to wear Subfusk. It is your degree. This is it. This is your this is your finals. This is what it all rests on. But if you believe, as many people would, that 
you know, you make it non-compulsory, some people stop wearing it, and then eventually everyone stops wearing it, as happened at Cambridge. Um, shouldn't the people who like stuff first and they want to keep wearing it, and they want, you know, it to be, still be a thing, shouldn't they vote yes? Um, only if they think that people wearing subfusk um, and people feeling like they might feel like a dick if they wear subfusk when lots of other people won't be wearing subfusk only if they think that is more important that feeling than people being uncomfortable because they're wearing something they don't want to wear in exams do so you think it should stay compulsory uh, I think so I like I like the fact that I don't have to think about what I have to wear I like the fact that actually Normally, it doesn't cost really that much. Like, girls get through on like 15 pounds, a ribbon and a shirt. It's really not that bad. Um, is it compulsory? Is it, it not is. compulsory? It's compulsory. You... There's going to be a vote tomorrow. Oh. A referendum. Right, well. Only time will tell whether Subfusk is here to stay. These could be some of the final finalists to don the hallowed gown.